All right, <clears throat> we're back. We're playing Tell Me Why. Let's see what happens with Tyler and his sister, whose name escapes me. Right, okay, Damn. yeah, we were... They still got this creepy mascot, huh? Yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids that come through here. And the law. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? <laughs> uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. <laughs> too little, too late. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during this spill. God, I hope not. Obviously, she is very much into the environment, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Of course, it's locked. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Mm. Locked. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Uh, speaking of Tessa, um, it was pointed out to me. I, I don't know if I actually said it in the last video or just something I was thinking of. I thought Tessa was native. She's actually Filipino. That was pointed out to me. Still sending psychiatric patients to prison. Yeah, I heard about that. It's so messed up. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who are always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? button to use. Uh, gamepad controls, internet, flip around, bond focus, okay. Right, trigger. That's what I need. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with the best. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. 
Huh. Is that shit? Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. <laughs> The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mm, Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great. <laughs> Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Something's in the way. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. It wasn't bad, it's just she didn't get it. Both doors are locked, huh? What do you know? Still locked. It's locked too. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. Tyler, you coming? Not that he really wants to. No real interest in seeing the guy that arrests them. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. Nope, not going there yet. Find some files about Marianne in the archives. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file. No, well, I guess we go find out. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Yeah, tell coffee us. sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Really not ready to deal with this. I can't say I blame him. He's young. 
lot younger than I thought he would be. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Me that there's a memory somewhere around here. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Locked. <laughs> Someone's cell phone's going off. Didn't Tessa buzz Don for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep, but Uncle Eddie let him off with a warning. He and the other officers still tease him about it. I wonder if he has some in here. on your mind just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there yeah on that paper thin mattress from the cell it could have been a pillow top and i wouldn't have slept a wink i don't know how you come here every week i've been here 10 minutes and it's already fucking me up it's understandable it never really stopped hurting hey do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah. Why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal. Like, we'd be sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson. And then suddenly, she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. So, are things going to be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you. I know. I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Let's go. Yep. Yep, it's locked. Yep, it is. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> <clears throat> you think they'll mind if I... I keep putting you off. I'm sorry, Tyler. This is heavier than I expected. I'm not that hungry. No, you're not that hungry. 
Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. That's sad. But, uh, kind of understandable considering where you're living. You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't, please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here, um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. No. Sorry. What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Oops. Sorry, Tyler. Paying attention to where I'm going. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Okay. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal, but it's a lot. Sure it is.
look around, see what we find. Whew. Rose never lets me back here. Huh. Rose left the computer on. Any officers info? Okay. Oh, Greg's just leaving this out on display again. Greg's like Officer Greg's. The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. Uh, so it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Uh, yeah, I bet. <coughs> I can't believe they're going to prison for nothing. I have a feeling there's someone's login information somewhere around here. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. Hopefully this doesn't weird her out. Okay. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Probably. Oh yeah, she goes to the Iditarod every year, and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. <sighs> His point still stands. Access. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan. Back in Delos Crossing. It's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. 
a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children of the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed. But I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Uh... Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I messed up somewhere.
there's something a little bit more to these stories of the little goblins. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Killed her. What? Damn. There's more to this shit than we know. I killed her. I killed her. Allison, <laughs> we need to call. For help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. <laughs> That's chapter one. Well. That's interesting. Yeah, that's uh definitely kind of a hard call to make. I did not learn the truth. Yeah. Well. I really want to go back and see some of the other choices. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. <sighs> All right. I'm going to end it here. Um, yeah, next episode is going to be interesting. And until next time, my friends. I'll see you in the next video.